hands are introduced. Hi, my name is Darren. Nice to meet you. Hi. Can I just confirm your name and date of birth? Uh, my name is Benjamin. I was born 3rd December 1995. Okay, so Benjamin, today I'll be doing a Parkinson examination on you. So this okay. involves me having a look at you and maybe just have, get you to write a few things and say something. So you'll be okay with that? Yeah, right? sure. Yeah? Okay, so what I'm going to get you to do is just sit down first and I'm just going to look around. So I'm looking for bedside clues. There doesn't seem to be any walking aids around, like wheelchairs. On general inspection, uh, there doesn't seem to be any resting tremors. So Ben, could I get you to close your eyes for me and count from 1 to 20? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Okay, that's, that's great. Okay, uh, and then Ben, can I get you to open your eyes? Can you push your finger to your nose and then push against my finger like you're pushing a doorbell? Yep, okay, and the other side. Okay, and the other hand? Yep. Okay, that's fine. You can put your hands down now. So now I'm just going to be looking at your face. So there doesn't seem to be any signs of hypomemia, uh, which is a lack of expression. And then I'm just going to do a Gabella tap. Okay, Gabella tap is negative. Okay, so Ben, how did you get to the hospital today? Walked. Okay, and um, tell me what you did for the day. I sat here and did it feel big. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any signs of hypophonia. That's great. Okay, Ben, do you mind giving me your arm? Are you in any pain right now? No, I'm fine. Okay. So I'm just checking for the tone of the wrist, the yeah. tone of the forearm, and tone of the elbow and the shoulder. Okay, that's great. And then the other hand. Okay. So um, Ben, what I'm gonna get you to do now is can I get you to take your fingers and then start uh, doing like this. Okay, do it as fast as possible. Okay, that's great. And Ben, can you play an imaginary piano for me? Okay, that's fine. Can I get you to turn the doorknob with both, hand, both hands? Okay, that's great. And Ben, now can I get you to put your feet on the floor? Okay, and can I get you to do a heat tap on both feet as fast as possible? Can we stand up for this? No, you can, you can sit down and do it. Okay, that's great. So it's synchronized and there doesn't seem to be any very kind music. Uh, so Ben, what I'm going to get you to do now is just write a sentence for me. Uh, so can you write the sentence, I am in the hospital? Okay, that's great. So there aren't any signs of micrographia. So Benjamin, now I'm going to be doing some special tests to exclude uh, other things that could mimic Parkinson's. So can I get you to remove your glasses for me? And can I get you to uh, keep your head still and look at my finger? Okay. So I'm checking for vertical gaze. So, okay, and then that's great. And then you can, can you do this? And I'm checking for nystagmus. Okay, so there are no signs of nystagmus or vertical gaze. So Ben, we're just gonna move to the next room and get you to walk a bit. Will you be okay with that? Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so while he's standing up, I'm looking for hesitancy as well as his posture right now while he's standing up. And Ben, can I get you to walk from this end of the room all the way to that end of the room? All right. Okay, and then you can walk back right now. Okay, so while he's walking, I'm looking for arm swing. So in Parkinson's, there'll be reduced arm swing as well as a stoop posture. There's a fascinating uh, gait, which means he walks faster and faster because he's about to fall down, as well as a shuffling gait. So Ben, that's great. So now we're just going to move so to ben, the this is the end of the examination. Do you have any questions for me? No. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah. So in summary, I examined Benjamin, who was a 23-year-old patient. Uh, on examination of his face, there were no signs of hypomemia or hypophonia. On examination of the hands, there were no signs of fine tremors or bradykinesia. Um, there was no peripheral stigmata indicating Parkinson's, as well as there were no signs of Parkinsonism, such as nystagmus or vertical gait. So for further examination, I would do a cerebellar examination on Benjamin, as well as do a postural blood pressure, MMSE, and check his drugs that can cause Parkinsonism.